We just made these giant door tags. Using our Cricut. And our bow forge. We even made the bow. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? We do too. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're starting our fall decor. We've had a lot of questions and requests for fall decor already. already. Even Christmas decor, but we're not quite there yet. So we're going to start with the fall decor. I'm ready to switch gears and start thinking about that stuff. And we think we're going to start with some door decor. Some giant door tags. <laughs> if you've been on Pinterest, like I always peruse, and you have seen these do these, I guess they look like just tags, right? Yeah, just like old fashioned tags blown up. Those old fashioned card. Yeah, card, card tags. tags. So they are tags like you would see on a gift or a price or something, but large enough for your door and they say different things. So we have two versions for you today. I'm going to use a stencil and create my version. And I hate painting, so I'm going to use some paper. Yes, he's going to Mod Podge the paper on his and make his decorative looking. <laughs> I haven't even picked up my paper yet. It's fun. So winging fun. it. It's so fun to wing it. <laughs> it is fun to wing it. We'll be winging it. Step one, we're going to gather all of our materials. We just needed some MDF. That's how we're making our tags. And then we needed some ribbon, some paint, some vinyl for Kim stencil. Some paper. Some paper. Which isn't here yet because we don't know what it is yet. It's a surprise. Yeah, I haven't even <laughs> looked yet. I haven't even looked for my paper. There's something good out there. Yes, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a former scrapbooker. And I wouldn't even say former. I just haven't had a chance to do it anymore. And I have so much scrapbook paper. I'm just so, going to go pick a box. Yeah, it's like going to the store. And dig through it. And I'll find something. <laughs> a box. Of boxes. Yeah, lots of boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Step two. We're going to make all of our cuts. I'm going to take the MDF over and cut some tags out on the Glowforge. You can easily cut these out yourself using any board or MDF or even cards. The dimensions are basically one by two. So if your tag is nine inches wide, it should be 18 inches tall. If it's six inches wide, it should be 12 inches tall. And then you just take the thirds at the top, mark it and cut 45s in to cut the top little tabs off. And you can even drill a little hole so that you can hang it. And you, you can use your circular saw or your, and your Craig track, or you can use a table saw, or you can even use, if you have a nice steady hand, the jigsaw. <laughs> you gotta have a steady hand. Or, so. or we're gonna have these in our store, you can purchase them from our store. <laughs> that's the easiest way. That's, that's the easiest way. <laughs> Step three. Wow, that really went flying. Try again. Got it back up. Step three. Now we're going to paint and paper. As I hate painting, I'm going to throw some Mod Podge down on mine and put some paint on it. And put some paper on it. <laughs> Not paint. Not paint. Well, and then we had some challenges where you still have paint challenges. Yeah, we paint talked shortage. about <laughs> in our household anyway. <laughs> we talked about what kind of paint, what colors we wanted for our fall, and of course orange was the color, but all we have is this tiny little bit of orange right here. And in that tiny little bit of orange right there is just a tiny little bit of paint. <laughs> it's not that well, it's probably half full, so a couple of ounces of paint maybe. So uh, we've decided we're going to use a different color scheme and add some ribbon um, to add, make the fall accents, and then Garrett's going to use paper. But we will not have a paint shortage for very long. We have a solution to that problem. Our stuff comes tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys a new partnership we have coming up. Yeah, and uh, we'll feature it next week. You guys, <laughs> will get, you guys will get a glimpse next week. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my paper. Yeah, I'm gonna start my painting while you go figure that out. So these, I'm gonna keep mine relatively neutral. Oh, my back. And I'm going to use this anti Sloan chalk paint in French linen. 
Hey, right there, first one, orange. Yeah, well, you need at least two because they're only 12 inches wide and your board is 18 inches tall. I can come up with something better, hold on. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Hey, polka dots. That'd be opposite. Oh, hey, on the other side. Ooh, those are cool. That's good. I'll set that aside. There you go. That's what I'm thinking. Didn't even have to dig too far. Let's see what else we got there. And the great thing about chalk paint here is that you don't have to prime it or anything. I can just put a coat of paint right on these boards. This one or that one? Well, how are you going to join these like this? Yeah. I love the straight that you can choose. It's your choice. I love the distressed look. Just going to make sure I got a nice coat of my pot all over my India. I'm gonna try to get it nice and flat everywhere. Make sure it's got the mark over it. Step four, we're gonna add our designs to the tags. A little word and a design. Our quotes. Our quotes, our sayings. <laughs> I'm going to pop over to the Glowforge and cut mine out of some 8th inch MDF. And I'm going to head over to the Cricut and cut mine out of some stencil vinyl or a mask 813. Here we are in design space. We're going to upload our image. We're going to browse for our SVG that we found online. Garrett modified it for me so it will fit on two boards. We're going to import it in and then we're going to resize it so that we can see the whole thing. Here we decided that we need to zoom out a little bit so that we can see the full image. We're going to ungroup everything and then only group the items that are going to go on a single mat. And then we're going to weld them together so everything cuts as one piece. We're going to rotate and then put them vertically one on top of the other. Here, Control A selects everything. We're going to resize them to eight and a half to fit our boards. And that automatically changes the width. We're going to center them on our mats so they're easier to put onto the boards. Select vinyl and load the mat and hit the flashing go button. I'm going to slide into the Glowforge web app import the SVG. The design is supposed to be eight and a half wide by 11 tall, so I need to rotate it. Then I'm gonna set the size, decide where to place it on my board. Here's a nice meaty spot. Select the material, set the focus. This is gonna measure the material. Make sure I have the right settings on the layers and click print. And then hit that magic button. Back, got my words. I just realized I have to paint my, my words. <laughs> I thought I was getting away with no painting. Well, what color are you going to paint them? I don't know. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you. Here's, here's what I was going to say. It might be easier for those little words. I have a black chalk paint marker. I mean, a black paint marker. And I have a white paint marker. So if you do them in black or white, you could probably do it real easy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, is pumpkin gonna fit on there? I hope so. What if I just leave them raw like that? They look kind of rustic. 
You could just do it all in black. Just do it all in black and then paint your pumpkin in orange and a green or something. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Gotta paint my words. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to add my stencil. Actually, I'm going to distress mine just a little bit. I don't have anything underneath, so I'm not trying to distress down to the next layer of paint, but I just thought, I see some paint strokes, so I think I'm just going to rough it up a little bit. Spray painted mine so much faster. I do have to paint this orange though. Gonna reach across our bony. So I have something new I'm going to try. We mentioned it on our live and one of our viewers uh, actually, one of our patrons sent us this in the mail. It's the Mod Podge Spray-On. So I'm super excited to try it. Yeah. I wonder how it will work. All right, did I get it? So I get that E again. That e All right. I'm super impatient. So I'm going to get a little heat gun. Just a little because the stencil can't handle it. All right. Looks pretty good. Next, next step. Dab some paint on. Paint that in. Alright. There's the first board. That looks great. Alright, let's do the second one. and little words seem about dry. I'm gonna glue them down with some Gorilla Wood glue. I forgot to put my a tag top on before I put my words on, so now it doesn't fit. I'm going to take it over the glue for it to see if I can cut out the top of the L. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you're so clever. Step five, now we add the accents. I think it's just the bows, right? Yep, we're gonna make some bows. I'm gonna have Garrett make some bows. Does mine even need a bow? I mean, look at mine. Mine's pretty bow-tastic. Yeah, hold, bow. hold yours up and show how awesome they are. They look so good. 
Do I even need a bow? I think they go this way. I think they go this way. Hey y'all. Hello, pumpkin. I love them. They look so great. And mine look good. Yeah. Mine's mm -hmm. gonna be good. more of a neutral, classy, and I'm gonna make a pop with our bow. Okay, so we're gonna use our Bodabra or something similar. This Offre brand. Gotta give them credit, right? Yeah. So the first thing you're gonna do is put your little, wait a minute, yeah. You're gonna put your string in like this. Yeah. And then you're just gonna make loops back and forth with your ribbon, so. Oh, push it in there like that? Mm-hmm. How and big? Then you're gonna, and oh, like you're gonna, eight inches? I think you twist it like this, right? I don't know. But you don't really have to twist Show it. Show me one more. Show me one more. This one you don't really have to twist because it's. Um, one more, I think I got it. We'll just show me one more. How many of these do we have to do? Uh, like five or six, so. I'll probably get it after like four or five. <laughs> All right, you do that. And I'm gonna use this neutral kind of tan and orange polka dots. Do I use all of it? Oh, five or six? I suppose I'm supposed to count these. I just use all of them. That's fine. He'll just have a really big thumb. Can I just tie this? I lost count of mine. <laughs> yes, just tie it. Yeah, great. What have I got here? One, two, three. Oh, bow. That's a pretty flat bow. I guess my bow is going to be a little bit of a surprise because I can't quite tell. How my bow is a surprise. Surprise! It's surprisingly ugly. What's yeah, happening there? I don't know. Bow didn't come out right. Well, did you tie it tight enough? Well, you didn't finish know. tying it. Well, it That's looks... fine. Put your finger in there. It still looks wonky. No, you're going to fluff it now. So now you just probably didn't have enough loops. It's a bow. Well, <laughs> his bow Funny. is not that cute. I'm gonna have to get more ribbon for his bow. <laughs> My bow looks like it was run over by a truck. All right, I'm not sure mine's gonna be all that much better. Let's see. You would typically. Hi, right, what are you doing? You kind of come in and you cut a wedge and then you tie it. All right, go for it. Let me cut it. Don't cut me. Don't cut me. You're okay. I'm only using the back. Muscle. Show them. <laughs> I don't show them if I doesn't it's my, bow. it's my new bow. Mm. All right, let's see what we got here. It's really all in the knot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> My bow looks like it had some kind of like mishap <laughs> with the Bodabra. Mine doesn't even need a bow. Mine speaks for itself. <laughs> like I said, we'll, we'll get you some better ribbon. Fish tail, can we get it? Yeah. We've got fish tail. Fish tail in the fucking lot. And this one. So yeah, okay. So my bow turned out a little better than his, but we'll we'll get him straight. We'll get him a good bow. <laughs> so 
saying. I don't even need a bow. All right, let's go find you some horse rope or whatever you right, said. Yeah, let's go get some horse rope, and I'm gonna throw some polyacrylic on these, and we'll be good to go. What do you think? What do you think about the paper? I love it. I, I like love it. It was a lot easier than painting, except I had to paint all these things. But I mean, spray paint. Easy, easy. Cheater. Yeah. Now, so we're going to offer these tags, the tag pieces, in our store. They're a whole lot easier than cutting yourself if you want one. Yep. And probably some of these words so that you can make your own version of this. Um, I think if we spray this, what we'll need to do, because it is paper and it will sit on a front door, we'll spray it with a heavy coat of polyacrylic a couple of uh, just to seal that paper in nice and tight. Yep. We'll do the same with this, obviously, because it has a chalk paint on it. But because his has paper, I think it's more important. <laughs> Gotta keep it watertight. <laughs> Looks like we're about out of time. Yep, out of time. So, we'll see you next week, where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. There's nothing really to even balance, right? Yeah, I try to balance two at the same time. Two different fingers. Go. Follow it. <laughs> Whoa.